Python is a programming language known for being easy to read and write, making it accessible to both beginners and experts. Python is a programming language known for being easy to read and write, making it accessible to both beginners and experts. Hackers use Python to automate their attacks, making them faster, more efficient, and often more effective. Think of it like this. Imagine trying to bake hundreds of cakes by hand. It would take forever and be incredibly exhausting. But with a factory and machines, you can bake those cakes much faster, with consistent quality and less effort. Python acts like those machines for hackers, automating the repetitive and tedious parts of an attack, allowing them to focus on more complex tasks. In this essay, we'll explore how hackers use Python to carry out their activities. We'll look at different stages of an attack, from gathering information to exploiting weaknesses, and see how Python fits into each stage. Don't worry if you're new to this, we'll keep it simple and clear, breaking down complex concepts into easy to understand pieces. The goal here isn't to teach you how to hack, but to demystify the process. It's to understand the tools and techniques hackers use, so you can recognize and defend against them. With this knowledge, you can better protect yourself and your data. So let's dive in and uncover the world of Python and hacking. Before launching an attack, hackers need information. They need to understand their target's environment, the defenses in place, and the potential entry points. This is where reconnaissance comes in. It's the first step in the hacking process, crucial for planning an effective attack. It's like scouting before a big game or a military operation. Just as a coach studies the opposing team, hackers study their targets. Hackers want to know about their target, what systems they use, what software is running, and any potential weaknesses. They gather as much information as possible to find the best way in. Python helps automate this information gathering. With Python, Hackers can write scripts to perform repetitive tasks quickly and efficiently. One common technique is port scanning. This method helps identify open ports on a network. Imagine a castle with many gates, or ports. Each gate represents a potential entry point. Port scanning is like checking each gate to see if it's open. If a gate is open, it might be an entry point for an attacker. Python scripts can do this quickly, scanning hundreds of ports in seconds. This speed and efficiency make Python a powerful tool for hackers. If a port is open, it might reveal a service running on the target system, giving the hacker a clue about potential vulnerabilities. Another technique is vulnerability scanning. This method checks for known weaknesses in software. This involves using Python scripts to check for known weaknesses in software. These scripts can identify outdated software misconfigurations and other security flaws. Think of it like checking a car for recalls. Just as a mechanic looks for known issues, hackers look for known vulnerabilities. These scripts automate the process, testing for vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. This automation saves time and increases the chances of finding a weakness. Python also excels at web scraping, extracting data from websites. This technique can gather a wide range of information. This could be anything from email addresses to directory structures. Hackers can use this data to understand the target better. Hackers can use this information to craft more targeted attacks. By knowing more about their target, they can design attacks that are more likely to succeed. No system is perfect. Software often has flaws, like cracks in a wall. These flaws are called vulnerabilities. Hackers actively search for vulnerabilities, hoping to exploit them and gain access to systems. Python plays a key role in this process. Imagine a hacker finds a vulnerability in a web application. This vulnerability allows them to inject malicious code into the application's database. With Python, they can automate this process, sending hundreds or even thousands of malicious code injections in a short amount of time. Python's libraries, collections of pre-written code, make this easier. These libraries are like toolboxes, providing hackers with ready-made functions for common tasks. This speeds up the process of vulnerability scanning and exploitation. It's important to remember that not all vulnerabilities are created equal. Some are more serious than others. The severity depends on factors like the potential damage, how easy it is to exploit, and whether there's a fix available. Once a hacker finds a vulnerability, they can try to exploit it. This is where they take advantage of the weakness to gain unauthorized access or control. Python can be used to automate this process as well. One way hackers exploit vulnerabilities is by crafting malicious payloads. These are pieces of code designed to take advantage of a specific weakness. Python's flexibility makes it ideal for creating these payloads. 
For example, a hacker might use Python to write a payload that gives them remote access to a victim's computer. Once the payload is executed, the hacker can control the computer from afar, stealing data or using it to launch further attacks. Another way hackers exploit vulnerabilities is through brute forcing. This involves trying many different password combinations until they find the right one. Python scripts can automate this process, trying thousands of passwords per second. Section 5. Social Engineering – The Human Element Not all hacking involves complex code, sometimes the weakest link is U.S. humans. Social engineering uses psychological manipulation to trick people into giving up sensitive information or access. Python can play a role here too. Phishing is a common example. This involves sending emails that appear to be from a trusted source, like a bank or social media platform. These emails often contain links that lead to fake websites designed to steal login credentials. Python can be used to automate the creation and sending of these phishing emails. Another social engineering technique is baiting. This involves offering something enticing, like a free download or a prize, to lure victims into clicking a malicious link or opening an infected attachment. Python scripts can create fake websites or generate infected files for these attacks. Section 6. Example. Automating a phishing attack. Let's look at a hypothetical example of how a hacker might use Python to automate a phishing attack. This example will illustrate the steps a hacker might take to exploit vulnerabilities and trick unsuspecting victims. Imagine a hacker wants to target employees of a company. They might choose a company with a large number of employees to increase their chances of success. They could use Python to 1. Gather email addresses. This is often the first step in a phishing attack. The hacker could use a Python script to scrape the company's website for employee email addresses. This script can be designed to navigate through web pages and extract email addresses automatically. 2. Craft a phishing email. This email needs to be convincing enough to trick the recipients. The hacker could write a Python script to generate a convincing phishing email, perhaps disguised as a message from the IT department, asking employees to reset their passwords. The email might include official logos and language to make it appear legitimate. 3. Create a fake website. This website will be used to capture the credentials of the victims. The hacker could use Python to build a fake company login page that looks identical to the real one. This fake page will be designed to capture the usernames and passwords entered by the victims. And 4. Send the emails. This step involves distributing the phishing emails to the targeted employees. The hacker could use Python to send the phishing emails to all the gathered email addresses with the fake login page linked in the email. This can be done using an automated script that sends out emails in bulk. If even a few employees fall for the trick and enter their credentials on the fake website, the consequences can be severe. The hacker gains access to their accounts. This access can be used to steal sensitive information, install malware, or further infiltrate the company's network. This demonstrates how Python can automate the entire phishing process, making it more efficient and potentially more dangerous. Understanding these methods is crucial for developing effective countermeasures and protecting against such attacks. Section 7. Ethical Hacking – The Good Guys Use Python too. It's important to remember that not all hackers are malicious. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use the same tools and techniques as malicious hackers but with permission. They help organizations find and fix vulnerabilities before the bad guys can exploit them. Ethical hackers rely heavily on Python, they use it for penetration testing, simulating real-world attacks to identify weaknesses in systems. They also use Python for security assessments, evaluating an organization's security posture, and recommending improvements. By thinking like malicious hackers, ethical hackers can help organizations stay one step ahead. They play a vital role in making the digital world safer for everyone. Section 8. Security Best Practices Protecting Yourself Knowing how hackers use Python can help you protect yourself. Here are some basic security best practices. Be wary of suspicious emails. Don't click on links or open attachments from unknown senders. Use strong passwords. Create unique complex passwords for all your accounts. A password manager can help with this. Keep your software updated. Software updates often include security patches. Install them promptly. Enable two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security to your accounts. Be cautious about what you download. Only download files from trusted sources. Remember, security is an ongoing process. By staying informed and taking precautions, you can minimize your risk of becoming a victim. Section 9. Conclusion – Python's Double-Edged Sword Python is a powerful tool. Like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. 
In the wrong hands, it can be used to automate attacks, making them faster and more effective. But in the right hands, it can be used to defend against those same attacks, making the digital world a safer place. By understanding how hackers use Python, we can better protect ourselves and our data. We can learn to recognize the signs of an attack and take steps to mitigate our risk. Ultimately, knowledge is power. The more we know about the tools and techniques used by both malicious and ethical hackers, the better equipped we'll be to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity.